Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot, and this is the weekend of April 20th, or better known as 420. For those of you in the know, have fun. Enjoy yourself. So what do we do on this show? Well, we like to find OTC and penny stocks that can make us money. And we're looking on all the exchanges because a penny stock is nothing more than any stock under five bucks, and they're on every single exchange. Now, most of the stocks we've been looking at here for a few weeks have all been what I call under the radar, right? We're looking for breakout charts, but they haven't run yet. We're trying to catch that breakout. Well, what we're going to do today is look at stocks that are moving. They've already started breaking out. They've had between 17 and 60% gains, but the charts look good, as you would expect, and they've got strong catalysts. So I think it's worth taking a look at these. Now, we are going to be doing this clean DD style. There's a lot of information we can look at, but some of it just isn't relevant to making the charts move. So I've already gone through all the information and I'm just going to share with you what I think is relevant to make the chart move. Now that doesn't mean the rest of the information isn't important. I'm always asking you, do your own DD behind me because I do not share everything with you. So let's take a look at the first stock. So we're looking at ONTX. On Canova Therapeutics. She finished at $1.09 on Friday with almost 55.5% gains. This is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. So what is the company about? Well, they're a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company focused on discovering and developing novel products for patients with cancer. The company has proprietary targeted anti-cancer agents designed to disrupt specific cellular pathways that are important for cancer cell proliferation. Now, they've got two drugs that are in trials right now. This drug right here, this is being evaluated in two separate phase one trials, one in the United States, one in China. Their other drug is moving from phase one into phase two, and this is for patients with crass and non-small cell lung cancer. Now, I see that she has a pretty decent float. I looked it up. It is right up underneath the outstanding share count, so it's about $20 million. but that's a pretty decent float. Now, this is the catalyst. This is news that came out on the 19th. We'll jump into this. The company today announced new preclinical data on their drug in two poster presentations at the American Association for Cancer Research annual meeting. The data being presented at the AACR further highlights how their drug differentiates inhibitory profiles that may allow it to overcome the shortcomings of the already approved FDA CDK. So that's the drug on the market already. Looks like this drug could be even better. And then they tell us down here, in addition, data from multiple cell lines suggest that inhibiting autophagy may sensitize breast cancer cells to the drug's treatment. So this is huge. And by looking at the chart, I think a lot of people think so. Speaking of that, what was the relative volume today? What a jump, folks. What a jump from 841,000, less than a million, to 23 million. So there was a lot of people taking a look at this. Speaking of taking a look at this, let's take a quick look at that chart. We're going to bounce on over here to Thinkorswim, the free trading platform from TD Ameritrade, and just breeze through these charts, get an idea of what's going on. But I don't want to spend too much time charting because I want to look at more than just three stocks. So this is ONTX, six-month, four-hour view. In this period, we've got a low of 62 cents and a high of a buck 61. Now, she's had a lot of activity here. The price is moving all over the place. But where is the volume? I don't see any volume at all. I mean, imagine what would happen if she actually got volume. You don't have to. <laughs> Look what happened Friday. She got that volume off of that news and she just catapulted herself up over that 200 and then skyrocketed way the heck up here to a buck 24, starting off at about 68 cents. So you've got almost 100% run there. She did kick back here a little bit and I think she's still got more than 50%. We'll check that out in a second. Her oscillators, all of them are on fire. Everything is ripping right now on the four hour chart. Jumping down to that 20-day, one-hour view. All right, I want to grab my Fibonacci here, and I'm going to poke the bottom of this surge to the top of that surge. 
And what I am looking for is the 50% mark, the halfway point. These are algorithmic supports and resistances, and you can actually trade on them. But right now, I just want to see if she kept more than 50%. If she is under that, there's a very strong likelihood she's going to keep falling down to the next SMA. But if she's above it, there's a stronger likelihood that she can continue climbing. She's above it. She has bounced off it, and she is on top of her nine-day SMA right now. That's looking good. Our oscillators are still very warm on the one-hour chart. Five-day, five-minute. Well, it was a very quick run. It actually started on Thursday. was running pre-market, after-market. Continue running to about noon, lunchtime. Fell back, and she got a lot of activity after market, didn't she? Now, that right there, that's worth taking note of. All this activity after market could continue on on Monday. So keep your eye on ONTX. I got a bonus for you here. I don't normally do this, but I do like sharing opportunities with you. And this has got a lot of potential. You could make a killing off of this. This is Lucas GC LTD. It is a Chinese company that is going to IPO this Friday. They are just coming onto the market. Now, it's not a penny stock, which is why I normally don't show you IPOs. This looks like it's going to be selling at about $8 to $9 a share. So why am I showing it to you? Well, if you remember, about six, eight months ago, we had a slew of Chinese companies come onto the market and they all came on with low share counts. I mean, really low, a couple million, and they were running hot. They were going to $70 a share, $300, $2,000 a share. I'm not kidding, folks. And this company, they've got a super small share count, 750,000 shares. That's it, folks. I don't know what it's going to do, but I thought you might want to keep your eye on it. Next stock we're going to take a look at that does have a chart is Cirque. Now, we've talked about Cirque before. Just the other day on the 18th, I seen her bump over her 50-day SMA on the one-hour chart, and it looked strong. And I showed it to you, and I said, this probably is going to go through the 200. It did, and it still looks like it's strong. And they've got fresh catalysts. So, Solar Integrated Roofing, ticker SIRC, she finished the day at 0 .0281 with about 21% gains. Now, she is on the pink limited tier. So that means she is late on one or more of her filings. And the truth is, she isn't late on a filing. She just put in her annual, but she hasn't put in her attorney letter. Once she gets that attorney letter put in, that will fall off. And they've got both the green ticks that we're always looking for, so they look great. This company works with roofing, solar panels, stuff like that. Now, one of the freshest catalysts that just happened, their financials came out. And look at that jump. Look at that jump, folks. From 2021 to 2022, they went from $84 million to $158 million. Another catalyst is a fresh piece of news that just came out the other day. Solar Integrated Roofing Corps enters exchange agreement to extinguish $14 million promissory note. They tell us over here that the note holder, Granite Global Value Investments, is to extinguish a $14 million promissory note. Granite agreed to cancel the $14 million note issued by the company in June 2022 in exchange for 4 million shares of the company. So now they're an investor. That's an investment in the company instead of it being a liability. So they got a lot of things going on. I'm expecting the volume here to have kicked. Woohoo! We do have a kick, about 50% roughly, from 9 million to 14.6 million. I'd keep my eye on Cirque, folks. The chart looks good. Looking at SIRC, six month, four hour chart, not a lot of difference in two days. We got a high back here six months ago of 61 cents, and maybe five days ago we hit a low of 13 cents. Now, look at all that volume. It is strong, folks. It is thick and congested. And right now, she has just gotten over her 50-day SMA on the four-hour chart. And all of our oscillators are strong and growing. Now, it was that 20-day, one-hour chart that caught my attention two days ago. She had bounced off of this low bubble, gotten up over that 50, and was way up here, very close to the 200. And I told you, I think she's going to go through. She did, and she is pushing hard. She hit a high here of 0 0.031 and fell back to 0 0.028. Oscillators are still strong and growing. Five day, five minute. What more can you ask for? Everything's perfect here. You got a low bubble on this corner, 
high bubble on that corner. On top of the 200, respecting it and bouncing on it and climbing. I'm loving this chart. I'd keep my eye on SIRC too. Our next ticker comes from the OTC, and it's the new kid on the block. This is ticker WOEN, Woof Energy Services. This was a subsidiary of EcoArc Holdings, but they spun it out February 1st, and now it's got its own ticker. She's got a lot of good information I'm going to share with you, but the best thing is her chart. It is that atypical breakout chart, that strong SMA coming down, leveling off, and the price cutting through it right now. So W-O-E-N, she finished today just a little over two cents and just a little under 19% gains. She's on the middle tier of the OTC, the QB. This is the better tier because you have to audit your financials to be here. And she's got both those green ticks, so she's looking really good. So what is Wolf Energy Services about? Well, they're a Florida corporation that provides transportation of frac sand and logistic services to major hydraulic fracturing and drilling operations. They also procure and finance equipment to oil field transportation service contractors. So what have I learned about this company? Well, she's got a pretty decent float from what I can tell. They tell us here the outstanding share count is 78 million, and then they give us two numbers, 11 million and 9 million. Well, I'm not sure which it is, so I do a search. I come up with two numbers of my own, but they're not those numbers. No, I came up with 5 million and 21 million. So at this point, your guess is as good as mine. Finances for the company. Looking at her annual, well, you know, I don't think this is hers. I'm really not sure because she just got on the market February 1st, but they say here $107,000. And looking at the quarterly, there's a huge jump. You go from $39,000 to $4.8 million to $5.3 million, which is great, but they're not right. Look, I jumped into the most recent financial that came out in February. They tell us that the nine months ended December 31st, 2022 was 15 and a half million. And in 2021, it was 13.9 million. So they're doing a heck of a lot more than they're showing right now in the OTC. I think that's all gotta be caught up. What was the relative volume around the company today? It dropped. It sure did from 145,000 to 88,000. Let's go take a look at that chart. This is WOEN, Wolf Energy Services. That's a six month, four hour view, but it only goes back to February 1st. We got a high here of about seven cents and we hit a low here a few days ago of 0089. Look at our volume. Our volume has gotten very strong. Even though it fell off here, it did not stop her from crossing that 50 day and pushing up. Everything is really looking strong here right now, breakout mode. And look at our oscillators. Every single one of them is pushing up and growing. Looking at our 20 day, one hour view. Well, there's something you don't see all the time. The low bubble and the high bubble on the same bar. Going from 0089 up to 2.7 cents, falling all the way back down to a nine day SMA, crossing the 50 and she's riding that nine day SMA right on up, looking good. Oscillators are still growing and looking strong. Five day, five minute. Another perfect chart. Well, what I mean is you got your low bubble in this corner, high bubble in that corner. That's what you'd like to see all the time. So she has gotten over her 50. She has been climbing. She got a little ways away from that 20. She's come back down to the 20 and is bouncing off of it right now on top of the 20 and the nine. Everything's looking good. Oscillators are still strong. We did have a crossover back here when she fell on our MACD. And right now it looks like she's about ready to cross over. I see a lot of good in this chart, W-O-E-N. You should watch it too. All of those stocks are running. They're all taking gains. All have got catalysts. All have got hot charts. Everything looks good. A little more due diligence isn't going to hurt at all. I did go through it, but I'm only sharing what I think is important, and that may not be what you think is important. And considering that you're spending your money, that's what's most important. Lots of due diligence to do out there, folks. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.